Hey, you! Yes, you. Have you ever been curious about telepathy? Are you sure? How about you? Students everywhere are being tested to see if they are telepathic. What is telepathy? From the Greek tele, meaning distant, and patheia, meaning affected by. Telepathy is the transfer of thoughts or feelings between two people by means other than the five senses. A sixth sense, so to speak. Recent research has led scientists to believe that telepathic experiences are linked to our mirror neurons. What are mirror neurons? Mirror neurons are cells in your brain that react to another person's facial expressions, allowing you to feel the emotion that they feel. Did you know that you could feel annoyed just by looking at somebody who is annoyed? Why, I'm feeling annoyed already! How do we test mirror cells? First, we ask our participants to fill out a short questionnaire. This questionnaire asks participants if they believe themselves to be telepathic, to provide a brief description of their telepathic experiences, and if others can be telepathic. Then participants are asked to identify the emotions of facial expressions shown on the card. According to Dr. Paul Ekman, there are seven essential facial expressions. They are... Happy Sad Angry Contempt Disgust Fear And Surprise No, no, confusion isn't one of the seven essential facial expressions. How do you test for telepathy? Once the participants have their mirror neurons tested, one of our researchers collects the expression cards and randomly selects one to focus on. The participants must then try to figure out what emotion the researcher is thinking of. The process is then repeated for a total of 10 runs. Why do you believe in telepathy? Like, if you're very knowledgeable about stuff, or just age in general, you know what's going to happen later on, so in some cases you are telepathic. How about you? Maybe it's more of like a gut reaction, or common sense, but sometimes I just... I, like, know what I should do before I do it. Or I know what other people are going to do before they do it. Or what they're going to say. And, like, I'll be having conversation with someone, and it's sort of like that jinx thing where you say the same thing at the same time, but it's like I knew that they were going to say it. And then there's always that thing where, like, if I have a favorite song, I'll just feel like it's on the radio, and I'll turn on the radio, and it's on. Mm. That happens a lot. Have you ever thought of calling someone right before they call you? Yeah, that happens a lot. I'll pick up my phone to text somebody and then they'll text me 